Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have modeled this exhibition stall design till here. So we'll continue this modeling with the sofa. That's the couch part over here. So let's go into the top view and let's go into extended primitives and let's take a gem for box over here. So let's draw a gem for box over here a bit up. After that, what we can do is we will just copy this gem for box. We can just resize it a bit from the top, push this up and make a copy of it onto the top. Now let's go into the top view and just resize this over here. We can just resize this chamfer box part over here. So let's convert to editable poly. Let's go into the vertices and push this over here and just make a copy of it. Okay. So we can just resize this a bit and we can edit it accordingly. That's it. Now the next step is after you are done with this part we are going to make uh, the side panel of this so side panel can be easily made over here so let's make a copy of this again press R and we are going to resize it or you can easily use this vertices part over here First we will rotate this, I am extremely sorry, we can rotate this, so we can easily rotate it, let us rotate it into 90 degree over here, go into the vertices and push this over here, here and scale it in this manner. So after you are done with this part over here, you can just push this down go into this view you can just push it inside go to this view and push this up up it so you can get the side part of the couch over here you can just copy this area you can just copy this area and push this over here on the other side that's it so same thing can be repeated, you can just click over here, press E and rotate it, R and resize this part over here and push this, go into vertices and place it over here, that's it, okay, better. So if you want any kind of uh, changes like if you want to make some kind of changes you can easily make it you can uh, spot this into two parts also so you can just click over here and make this copy over here after that what we are going to do is we need some kind of a paneling part over here so that, that paneling part can be easily done over here you can just shift this up a bit and just push this up you can go into this side view over here and let's take a line tool over here let's take a line tool and push this down like this alright so after you have done this part over here you can click on this rendering enable in viewport and make it as rectangle and push this over here so you can easily do this paneling part till here so go into this vertices we can just place this like this over here can scale it inside go on to the top view 
and again make a copy of that paneling part take one more line tool and make a uh, draw a line that is connecting this two parts over here like this that's it better so you can just select this line and attach it with this line and this line so now you can select go into this vertices right click fuse vertices right click weld vertices to so select this both fuse vertices and weld vertices so as you can see over here you have uh, joined this the elements over here you can just push it more closer and give it a gray color so now the next part over here is for the back side also we are going to duplicate it so you can just draw a straight line over here and push this over here for this joint and press shift and push it over here for this joint so as you can see we have made the support for it for the couch part over here now go to the top view we need a framing at the bottom so let's take a rectangle tool and draw a rectangle at the bottom of it so you can just reduce this and shift this over here for this part for the framing part that's it for it okay so we can make a center table also over here you can make a center table of your own choice so let's make a center table right from this front view so let's take a line over here let's take a line like this so after making a line over here you can just push this line over here and push it down you have option over here called mirror option you can just copy it push it back over here so push this over here here go to the top view press e and rotate it to make a copy of it take a box over here and make a copy of it or you can make a cylinder you can take a cylinder and that's it so you can just make the stable look in this manner you can increase the sides increase uh, reduce the height segments and increase the gradients of it that's it all right so as you can see over here we have a uh, model uh, kind of a stylish table over here okay so we need to put some kind of lights over here that can be you know easily put over here so use a cylinder over here use a auto grid you can also use the top view from here so you can use the top view to put the lights over here that's it so you can just place the lights on the top and you can just duplicate this lights according so select this both the lights and push it over here 
All right. Okay. So that's there's no camera in the scene. You can uh, set a camera. If you want to set a camera, you can just set a camera. Okay. We need to put some kind of uh, glass panels over here. So you can easily put some glass panels from here. So you can just shift this down over here and uh, rotate it. So let's rotate this stuff like this. Scale it. And push this down to make a copy. That's it. Okay. So as you can see over here, we have just done with the paneling part of over here. And let's place a camera over here. So we can just set up a camera. So we uh, take a plane. Take a plane over here. Just shift this plane up and down. Give this a bit of a different color. Shift F. So you can just go into rendering, render setup, and make it as your HD video over here. Press Shift F. And now you can press over here Ctrl C to place a camera from that. So that's it. So let's save this video. So thanks for watching this tutorial. We'll come up with the texturing part in the next session.